or welcome to our very first home tour video of our channel and since this is our first video we are going to show you one of the most luxurious penthouse listings that we have in the heart of district 1 that's right this development offers unparalleled connectivity is a stone's throw away from amenities and offers great investment potential ladies and gentlemen we are at marina one residences my name is greg and i'm nishong let's go on a tour we are m8, m8. Alright, so welcome to the 33rd floor of Marina One Residences Garden Tower. We are now at one of the few exclusive penthouses that M1 Residences have to offer for you. So now we're at the private lift lobby area and as you can see, the developer has already done up the whole place quite nicely for you. But you still can add some stuff like shoe cabinets as well as a chair for you to sit down and wear your shoes comfortably. And over here, there's a mirror for you to check your appearance before you head out to start your day. Now, follow me into the unit. Let's go! So another thing that greets you at this entranceway is this huge table over here the developer has placed. So currently you can see the developer placed some plants on the table but what I think you can really do with it is to place some of the trophies, the awards and the memories of your family over here so that will be the first thing that greets your family as well as your guests and give them an idea as to how your family is like. Now, as we enter the living space, this is where it gets interesting. I segregate the living space into three main areas. The piano room, the living and communal space as well as the dining area. So right now, where I'm standing, the developer has placed a piano in the piano area. But what I think you could also do with this space, if you guys don't play the piano, is you could actually drop a projector screen against the backdrop of this wall. And it's very smart because right beside is the living and communal space. So this is a place where you and your friends or your guests can gather for a private movie screening. Alright, so as we enter the living space, the developers have placed two huge sofas that smartly helps to amplify this entire living space. So, provision for your coffee table has already been thought out. And as you can see, the developers place huge marble slabs for you to place your drinks and your snacks so that you can have a chat with your guests or your friends over a slightly more casual setting than at the dining area. Alright, so as we enter the dining space, you can see that there's currently a long table that can fit up to a 10-seater. But if you'd like to convert this space to fit a round table, you can actually do so as well. So what I like about this dining space is actually three main things. Number one, the dining table is actually right in the middle of the wet and the dry kitchen. So food can actually seamlessly enter and exit this table without breaking any form of conversation. Number two, for the viewpoint of your guests that's actually seeing the living space as well as the piano area, they get to again feel just how huge this entire space is. And I must also take this opportunity to mention to my right, the balcony that leads out to the vast expanse of the ocean, which provides an entirely different viewpoint for your guests and your friends. Last but not least, the cherry on top, literally. Beautiful chandeliers that helps to set the backdrop of this entire dining space. So as you enter the dry kitchen, you instantly realize that it is a chef's dream. Every single kitchen appliance here, from the cooker hood and hop, the oven, as well as the tapanyaki plate, is actually by famous German brand Miller. And as you can see right behind me, every single thing is flushed nicely against the wall so there are no weird corners that juts out and spoils the facade. So this is a place where you can actually hire your own private chefs to cook up a storm for your family or even better, if you wish to do it yourself, you can actually still interact with your guests and get a nice view of your house or the ocean as you do so. So the last thing I'd like to end off for this dry kitchen is the wine chiller at the corner which is again by Miller Brand and most importantly, it's only for the discerning few. Now that I've brought you through the entire living and dining area, let's head back to the main door. So you might be thinking, this is the end of the home tour. But wait, there's more. That's right, let me bring you through the family area of this Dupac penthouse. Alright, so the first thing as you enter into the family area of this property, you'll be greeted by this shoe cabinetry over here. Alright, so this is where you can place some of the shoes that you may have. And to my left, the developers actually done up this bar counter for you. Right, you have your water dispenser over here, you have your wine chiller over there. Right, some storage spaces for you to put some of the glassware that you may have. And I really like this concept because this is really convenient because your family entertainment area is just right beside. Right, you have an L shape so far over here, you have a coffee table, right? And I think this is the perfect spot for you to have a cozy movie night with your family. And what's really amazing is that right beside here, you can see that this is where the balcony of the place is, right? You can go out and enjoy some fresh air. And you have a really beautiful spiral staircase over here that leads you to the second level of this property, right? And beside that, 
right behind me. This spot over here is where your master bedroom is. And I really like how the developers purposefully created this layout such that the master bedroom is at the opposite end of the other bedroom. Right, so follow me in into this massive master bedroom right here. Right, so the first thing as you enter, you are greeted by this massive space. You can see that you have really tall ceiling height over here. You have your usual king size bed over here with two bedside table, right? And you still have plenty of walking space even after putting a sofa right here, right? And looking at this distance from the bed to the wall over here, you can see it's a really good distance, right? You can put some of the paintings that you may have over here. You can even put a television, install a projector over here for you to watch some show before you head over the bed. Right, and this corner over here can also be your reading corner. Right, and right beside it is where your direct access to the balcony of this property is. All right, so you might be wondering where the master bedroom wardrobe is. Right, so I really like this concept over here because the developer actually concealed up the walk-in wardrobe as well as the master bathroom. Come on in and check it out. Right, so as you enter into this walk-in wardrobe over here, you have really lots and lots of storage spaces over here for him and hers, right? You have plenty of storage spaces for you to put your clothes, your designer bags, all your accessories that you may have. All right, so leading into this space is this master bathroom over here. You can see that to my right, you have a spa bathtub over here for you to enjoy after a long day of work, right? And to my left, you have a really nice dual concept sink over here so that you don't have to fight for the sink early in the morning before you leave for work, right? And leading into this, the developers have also done up very beautiful rain shower over here, right, with a very nice black marble backdrop over here. Right, so enough of the master bedroom, let's check out the other wonders of this property. Let's go. Alright, so passing through this Jack and Jill bathroom that connects the two common bedrooms, we are at the first common bedroom over here. And as you can see, the common bedroom has already been done up, right? We have very nice wallpaper plastered all over as well. Right, we have two panels of wardrobe over here, right? all the soft closing hinges have been done up as well as lightings on the inside. And you also have your overhead cabinetries over here and right behind me the view is really amazing because it overlooks the entire Marina One residences. Right, let's check out the next highlight of this place, the Junior Master. Let's go. Alright, so we are at the Junior Master of this property and as you can see, it comes with its own walk-in wardrobe as well as ensuite bathroom as well. And it is segregated by this black wooden sliding door over here. Right, so as we enter into the walk-in wardrobe, you can see that there's really plenty of storage spaces, right? You can put all your clothes, all the bags that you may have as well as accessories. Alright, and leading inwards is where your ensuite bathroom is, right? You get very nice segregated showering area as well as your toilet area. You have a beautiful sink, everything has been done up for you as well. And what I really like about this Junior Master is that you can see it's really spacious, right? All the overhead cabinetries have been done up for you. Wallpapers have been installed. Right? You have really nice backdrop over there. And what is really amazing, right? We have your very own private balcony right outside. Right? So this space here is perfect for you to host your friend. When you come over, right, you can just have a chill session right outside, right? Enough of the bedrooms. Let's meet Greg back at the entertainment area. Let's go. Alright, so welcome to level 2 of the entertainment area. So I think this space is brilliant because for multi-generational families or families who want to have multiple gatherings at the same time, this duplex penthouse makes it perfectly doable. And the good thing about this space is that it's wide enough such that you can convert this space to do a myriad of activities such as having a poker table or even a pool table. So right now, if I'm taking a sit and I want to get drinks, where do I get drinks from? That's right, so this is where you get your drinks from. You have a really luxurious marble countertop over here. Perfect for you to host your friends for a drinking night. Right, and right behind me, you have plenty of storage spaces for you to keep all your alcohol. You even have space for a huge wine chiller over here. Right, and after a pint of two, many of us, I suppose, would love to go out and grab some fresh air or even have some barbecue food. Right, Greg? That's right. Now, if you ever had this problem in a normal condominium where you wanted to book a barbecue pit and you weren't able to do so, you have no such worry over here as you have your very own industrial grade barbecue pit that allows you to cook up barbecues for your family and your friends with good views of Sentosa Island as well as the sea. Alright, so speaking of facilities that you don't have to share with residents in the condominium, there's more for this duplex penthouse as well. Isn't that right, Nishong? That's right, and we do have our very own private pool over here as well. Right, you even have space 
for you to lie down to do some stargazing, right? Or even enjoy the view right here. And while you're enjoying the view, let's share with you more about the locality. Marina One Residences lies in the heart of District 1, flanked by four MRT stations, mainly Marina Bay, Downtown, Shenton Way, and Bayfront, spread across the Circle, North South, Downtown, and Thompson East Coast Line. The development offers easy connectivity across the entire Singapore for residents and tenants alike. Being part of a joint development between Tomasik and Kazana National Bahad, Marina One Residences provides residents a tranquil green hut concept right in the midst of the city centre's concrete jungle. Furthermore, the development is fitted with Porsche appliances from reputable German brands such as Miller. Amenities are also literally a stone throw away as the ground floor and basement level connecting Marina 1 residences to Marina Bay MRT is sprawling with restaurants and eateries to fulfill every cuisine cravings that residents may have. There's also a cold storage for residents to conveniently purchase necessities as well. Alright guys, so we have come to the end of this duplex penthouse home tour. This is the first out of many more home tours that we'll be doing to showcase even more beautiful homes to you. That's right, and if you like our videos, do smash the like button, drop us a follow or leave some positive comments below. This is Nishong. This is Greg. Catch you at the next home tour. We are M8. M8.